All right, go away now. That's all you get. Jay, see those ghosts? Yeah. They're all friends of mine. Yeah, they'll be fishing out of your bait tank if you don't watch out. Well, why not? When the girls follow a boat from the home port, Jay, that's a good sign. A watch? about music. Some tunes make your feet dance, and others your heart. Have well, you been doing okay on a trip without music? What do you mean without music? Why, that old wedding march has been ringing in my ears ever since that sister of yours agreed to throw you over for me. Well, that's all right. I raised it from a pup and I'm glad to get rid of her. As long as it's for you. You won't be sorry, Watson. I'd die to make Maria happy. What they got there? Oh, that's a boat I made with a kid. Think he'd like it? Exactly he'd like anything you made for him. Too bad you don't like his uh, mother. Yeah, it's tough, ain't it? You know, I can't figure you out, Walking. Why you let her ornery father and brother stop your marriage is beyond me. You and Gene are nuts about each other. The kid's crazy about you. If it were me, I'd tell the whole Fenderson family to go fly a kite. All right, Mr. Delson. I'll take over. You better go below and get some sleep. I think you're going to need it. Well, I suppose if you're ever going to marry Jean, I'll have to kill off the rest of the Fendersons. Say, you let me take care of Jean, will you? Sure, sure. <laughs> I tell you, I won't have a daughter of mine associating with him. A thieving fortune he who hides behind an Irish name. I won't have it, you understand? I won't have it. No? Well, I'm pretty fed up with what you won't have and what I can't do. I'm through taking orders and being bulldozed. I love Joaquin Shannon. My baby loves him. And we're going to be with him every chance we get. Oh, no, you're not. I'll have something to say about that. Dad's right about him, sis. The guy's no good. And he'd be more no good after I get through with him. I'll run him off the water. Gene, Gene, the boat's in. It's time to get out of here, Mother. Yes, darling, right now. I'll have the boy taken away from you. Take him with you, Maria. All right. Hurry, Jean. Yeah, I'll be right along. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Yes. You know, you don't frighten me anymore. Jackie's mine, and nobody can take him away from me. Oh, yes, they can. When a mother endangers a child's welfare. His welfare? Why didn't you think of his welfare three years ago when he was sick and needed it? When he needed a doctor, food, medicine? No. Oh, no. I married his father against your wishes, and that was that. Well, you're not going to mess up my life a second time. You're wasting your breath on Jean. There's only one way to settle this. You leave it to me. I'll put an end to the Shannon business. Oh, oh Maria! Oh, I can't. Uh, oh. Hey, you sure look good. Oh, darling, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Hello, lady. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. Everything ship shape? All right, sir. Where's the skipper? Ground fight with her. Oh, mutiny, eh? Crew prepared to board an attack. Huh? Hello, 
Shannon. Hello, Paulo. Hi, Joaquin. Hello. Do you have any tuna this trip? Plenty. How you been, kid? Okay. I'll be out of school soon, ready for that job you promised me. Oh, it takes a man to heave in tuna, fella. Look. Three of them. Holy smoke. When it gets so you can't count them, I'll give you a job. Gee, thanks, Joaquin. Go on, kid. I don't know, mate. What do you think? Well, maybe because Mommy loves you. How do you know? He told Grant. Gee! Joaquin! <laughs> Stand by, matey, while I talk to the skipper. Now, let me have a good look at you. Oh. Yep, you're the same gal I've been seeing every night. Such morning, Captain Sheldon. Gee, you're all shaky. What's the matter? Just the excitement of seeing you, I guess. The old man's been after you again, hasn't he? This time I walked out for good. Well, glory be, now we're getting someplace. Oh, what? Right in front of the seagulls and everybody? Sure, I want witnesses so you can't change your mind. Oh, that's not likely. Lady, what do you think about me getting married? You what, Cat? Yeah, see if you can talk the skipper into it, will you? Can we please, Mommy? Oh, well, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Well, yeah. Maria. We're going to take Jean home with us. Oh, oh that's marvelous. Oh, listen, and I'll don't let her out of your sight till I get there. All right, listen, I'll Now, get shove it. off. Give her a shove off. We've got work to do. Oh, come on, Jean. Take over, matey. Oh. Hey, what's this all about? Now, ah, pipe down, bridegroom. You're on your way to Father O'Toole's in the barber shop. Oh, you're nuts. We've a lot of fish to unload. Dang and I'll take care of that. You've got plenty to do. There's going to be a wedding tomorrow. Come on, get going. Mr. Hatton's been a lot all these months. We'd be having a double wedding tomorrow. Oh, I've been so busy trying to get you two out of my hair, I haven't had time for anything else. Oh, anxious to get rid of me, huh? I can hardly wait. Oh, well, won't be long now. I know, now. you've turned out. Oh, Christmas. Hey, pipe down and be kid in the house now. Oh, oh, don't worry. He's sound asleep. Find everything you need to do. Yes, everything's wonderful. But it does seem too bad for Joaquin putting him out of his room. Uh, uh, from the rumors we've heard, I'd say it was only going to be temporary. Yeah. Huh? Well, Gene Shannon, what have you told him? Oh, I told him he was so crazy about me, he couldn't take no for an answer. Oh, he did Here, give us a kiss, will you? Yeah, give us a kiss. Huh? Oh, there you go. Easy on the both of you. Go on, you old stag. Come on, boy, we're not wanted here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big sin big about? One of the boys getting hit tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. 
Well, don't start nothing you can't finish. I'll finish it all right if you don't keep away from Gene. Don't lead me to chin, Joe. I don't want no trouble. But if you keep on asking for it, I'll give it to you. You and who else? Hits in their chloroform. Now go on with your fun, mate. I got the bridegroom outside to air it. I gotta throw him away. Hey, Dick. Take care of things, will you? Shannon, where are you going this hour of the night? What's up? Joe Fenderson, out cold. Someday one of you boys are really going to get hurt. Well, I was just on my way back to the boat and I found Fenderson stretched out there cold. Somebody must have beat me to it. That's going to be hard to make anybody believe. Come on, what happened? Fenderson asked for it, and I let him have it. That was pretty stiff bail, but I knew you wanted out. You said it. I'd have gone nuts in that cage before morning. Uh, can I give you a lift? No, thanks. You beat it on back home and get to bed. Good night. Good night. Come on, now. Snap out of it. A fine mess you made. Where are we going? We're going to bed, you dope. But you ought to be in the hoose gal. Who's what? Come on, sail and navigate. Take on such a cargo. Oh! 
I feel like a pile driver hit me on the head. So. So that's what happened. Uh, Joe took a second, huh? Joe. Last night? Oh. What would you... Oh, quit kidding me. I wasn't that stiff. No, you wasn't stiff. How do you think you got aboard, my lad? Well, I... I... Gee, I don't know. I don't even remember leaving the gang. Hey. <laughs> well, do you remember you're supposed to be head man of the wedding in about an hour? Yeah. Head man is right. I'll probably cut it off shaving. <laughs> well, do a good job. I'll go and prepare the bride for the worst. Uh, you're a swell brother-in-law. I'm Maria Colleen Shannon. I'm Maria Colleen Shannon. Take thee, Christopher Nelson. Take thee, Christopher Nelson. For my lawful husband. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold. When are you coming to my wedding? For better or worse. Yes, now be quiet. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. With this ring, I thee wed, and plight unto thee my troth. gentlemen, to the bride and the groom. Bottoms up, everybody. There they are. All everything. Leave it on. To the bride and groom to be. Jean and Joaquin. Somebody at the door, Joaquin. Oh, good afternoon. Everybody's here. I'll see who it is. Brady, the cat. Well, I'm glad to see you. You just missed the wedding, but there's plenty of grub and other things that you guys are off duty. Come on in. Sorry, Joaquin. We're here on duty. Yeah. Chief wants to see you down at headquarters. But I posted there last night. Tell him I'll see him later. I can't run out on the kid's wedding. Afraid you'll have to, fella. Joe Fenderson cashed in about a half an hour ago. Joe? Yeah? Yeah. Skull busted. He never came to. Gee, that's tough. Plenty. On you. It's a manslaughter rap. Me? But I didn't. Sure, we know. It's just one of them tough breaks. Shannon, father. So, making love to my girl behind my back, huh? That's tough. Tis a disgrace. Sure I'm not be marrying the likes of you to a nice girl. She is kind of nice, ain't she? And it's much happiness she'll be having the pair of you. Now leave me to make cake. Be off with you. All right, father. Why are you looking at me like that? Just getting an eyeful. And you are one, too. Take off those glasses, Captain. They're fooling you badly. 
Yeah, you're right. I've been chipped. See? <laughs> I've got to run down to the doctor a minute, honey. Take care of things for a while. Don't be long, huh? Anything wrong, Red? Little weather ahead, Ding. Stick with the ship. Now you have any connection with Joaquin Shannon? Oh, no, I won't, Father. You're going to uphold your brother's murderer? I love Joaquin Shannon, and I'm going to stand by him. Guilty of manslaughter is charged. Have you anything to say before sentence is pronounced? No. And the sentence of this court is that you be committed to state prison for a term of not less than one and not more than ten years. Now, Chris, you know I kind of spoiled it before you come along. Sure. Thanks, Skipper. Say, do you suppose? Suppose what? You suppose a gal could stick around a year, waiting for a guy? The gal loved the guy. The way I love you. Then you got a date. About this time next year. Addressing prison officers. We want to help you, but we can't unless you help yourself. By your own acts, your attitude, your conduct, you make your own record. Don't let other prisoners get you into trouble. Mind your own business, hold your temper, respect yourself, and show respect for others. So that when you come up for parole, you'll be able to show the prison officials that you deserve another chance. It's up to you, Shannon. Read this book of rules carefully. That's all. Come on. This way, fish. There's a fresh fish for you, Cappy. In with you. Put your duffel on that bunk, lad. Fisherman, eh? You travel fast in here. Seems a million miles away, don't it? And you got a cold, crawling emptiness way down deep. Life's betrayed you. There's no such thing as justice and right. <laughs> I know. 
Most of us feel that way when we first come in. Not me. I got my sights set on a year from now. A year? Yeah, my lawyer says I'll be out of here in a year. You might, but good behavior. Well, that's a sense, then, if it's up to me. Yeah, it is mostly. The warden and the captain of the yard are right guys. Most of the guards are okay. But it's still a penitentiary. Being caged up like this does something to a man. This squirrel cage isn't going to get me. make out today. I'd probably do better heaving sooner. <laughs> hey, are you a southpaw or a right-hander? How long are you in for? You know, if you're a life, you got to go on Grogan's team. I only get the short-termers. What's he talking about? Oh, this is Soapy, manager of the prison Green Sox. Soapy, this is Shannon. Hiya. All I care about is to you play baseball. You know, the thing that burns me up about this joint, I no more get a good man developed or I'll lose him. How come? Didn't they pardon my best pitcher this morning? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not a ball player. You ain't? Well, why did you say so? You got your sights set on that year? Blame me? Mm. Something to aim at, son. You stick with it. Trouble brewing today. I can smell it. Curious. I just heard the screw tell the chaplain. All right, come on, boys. Break it up. Break it up. Come on. Hey, fellows. Break it up. Okay. guy to stay away from in here. He's always been dynamite. Don't worry. I'm not sticking my neck out. Hello, Sophie. Hi, Hi Red. Hey, what are you in for this time? Ah, oh, Damon Fresno shot off from out to the parole office. How's the alarm, huh? Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, not bad. Say, I hope you haven't lost that old control of the speed. Remember that last game we had with the lifers? Do I? <laughs> oh, what a game! Seventeen strikeouts and you beam the screw with a wild pitch. <laughs> I'll never forget the sound of that ball when it smashed this screw right between the eyes and he goes out like a light. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you're just a little ray of sunshine, huh, Red? Yeah. I just tell him, Sophie, a little story. I brought from the outside. Sure panic is, too. Well, I hope you brought a lot of them, Red. You're paying us quite a visit this time. That screw was always too fresh. I got a few new tricks that'll put him in his place. Yeah? Yeah. There's going to be a lot of changes made around here for him, Drew. Shannon. 
Sit down, Strike. Big Red says so. Big Red said? Sit down, Strike. Tomorrow at 10. Big Red says. Sit down, Strike. Sit down, Strike, eh? What do I care the warden's tough your baseball game? Well, Red says they ain't got no right to take away our recreation. Hey, what about you, Fish? Count me out. I'm keeping my record clean and minding my own business. Just what is your business? So you're keeping your record clean, huh? Well, listen, you're no better than anybody else in this joint, or you wouldn't be here. Get this straight, Red. I'm not taking orders from you or anybody like you. Fish, don't pull that kind of stuff on me and get away with it. You and me better understand each other. You may be a big shot to some of these guys, but to me, you're just a cheap crook. Why, you dirty lion Portuguese mix out? Fred, you always were a troublemaker. You don't seem able to behave yourself outside or inside prison. Shannon. Your record shows that before you came here, you had a reputation of being too handy with your fist. Your brawl today was responsible for injuries to a guard and two prisoners. Well, what have you to say for yourself? I didn't start, Warden. And I suppose you didn't either. Sure, I started it. We're weak and solitary for both of them. But it'll give you a chance to cool off and think things over. Take them out. for giving Red the work. Okay, Jim. Take him to his cell. forgot anything could be so beautiful. Oh, darling. How's the mate? He's growing like a weed. And Chris and Maria? They're still in the honeymoon stage. They're sent to their love. How's old Ding getting along? Well, he and Chris will do all right when they get their skipper back. You know, you're still the only fisherman on the Pacific to them. It's only six months now. Yes, I know. Your lawyer said you were certain he's on parole. Do you need anything? Today. Did they treat you all right? Say, this is the softest year's cruise a guy could want. Don't let's talk about that. I just want to look at you. And I 
going to get fifteen dollars a week in a raise if I make good. Aren't I a business woman? For my money, you're everything. <laughs> Time's up. I'll be seeing you, honey. Don't forget we got a date. That's only six months off. I won't forget. But don't you stand me up. Come on, honey. Why don't... You broke it. This will fix you up fine. Here, none of that. I didn't write that. I never saw it before. Tell it to the warden. Come on. Good luck, sir, dude. You did that, didn't you? Oh, not me. I'm keeping my record clean and minding my own business. After careful consideration and aware of the responsibility which society has imposed upon this board, we cannot do otherwise than to deny your parole at this time and fix your sentence at five years, ten months of which sentence you have already served. Who's next? Get out of the yard. There's going to be trouble. What's up? 
Big Red and some others got guns. They're going to try and shoot their way out, the fools. Come on, let's duck. <laughs> Just a minute, sir, dude. Stand still. I got use for you two guys. Walk ahead of me and do just as I say or I'll let you have it. Come on. you did took nerve, Shannon. I guess you mean what Cappy did. You could have taken the credit for it. Most men would. I'm not asking any favors. Well, the board thinks you'll rape one. They've granted you a parole. Now live up to its conditions, Shannon. And in three years, you'll regain all your rights of citizenship. Violate it. And you'll be back in here. Don't worry. My plans will never bring me back here again. Well, good luck to you, Shannon. Thanks. Good 
Why didn't you let us know what train you was coming on? We'd have been there with bells on. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> By golly, it's good to have you back. And you're looking all right, too. And I'm feeling more all right every minute. Say, how's my girl? Well, nothing wrong with her, but seeing you won't cure. <laughs> Thanks, James, for taking care of things. Well, it seems kind of strange around here without Chris and Maria. Hey, did Jean tell you about the job she got for me? Yeah, in a tannery. And you the best tuna skipper on the coast. Yeah, well, how do you think the skipper? You know, a parole man's got to have a job waiting for him. Well, I'll get myself squared around soon. Maybe I'll get another boat. Sure you will. Now, if this tub was mine, you wouldn't have to go any further. <laughs> well, Ding, i got to be getting home. up on that date we made two years ago. Oh, but we're keeping that day, darling, aren't we? Those two years are gone, Joaquin. Gone as though they'd never even been. Our life starts now. Now together. Oh, it's not as easy as all that. I'll be on parole for three years. Why, my sweet, I know. But once we're married and you've got your feet on a deck again, all this is going to be just like a bad dream. You don't understand, honey. We can't be married. We can't be married. Not until I'm released from parole. For why? A why for home responsibilities. Why they give a man something to work for, to live for. Well, I guess they got it figured out different. Maybe they don't want a guy to have anything to live for. Oh, darling, let's fool them. We've waited two whole years to keep a date without each other. Together, we ought to be able to wait a little bit longer, huh? With you on deck, a guy could wait forever. Well, Jean, this is a surprise. Perhaps it's also a surprise to you that Joaquin was discharged from the cannery today. I'm not interested. No, I know. You're only interested in punishing me through Joaquin. It's not my fault you chose a murderer. Joaquin didn't kill Joe. But even if he had, he's paid the penalty the law demanded, and he has a right to existence. A right to an honest livelihood, and you shan't defeat him. I don't have to. His prison record will do that. When you get tired of supporting your ex-convict sweetheart... Why, he... Cat 
give it to you. Sure. And you're going to get me steak, too. And he's king, Mom. And he's king. Now he's king. Now he's king. Now this is for you. Marie, well, what happened? I got a job. No. Now I'm skipping a tuna boat for an Eastern outfit that just started up. Seventy-five bucks a week and a percentage. Oh, that's too good to believe. Oh, uh, it's only the beginning. We're going places from now on, you and me. We'll show them they can't keep a good guy down. Well, aren't you a little ahead of schedule, Chairman? Yeah, I just dropped in to tell you I won't be able to report till late next month. Why not? Oh, I'm back in the business, I know. Skipper on a tuna boat. She sails tomorrow. I'll be down off the coast of South America this time next month. Did you read your parole carefully? Sure. Then evidently you've forgotten that you're forbidden to leave the state of California. I'm sorry, Shannon. It's a tough break. Oh, but you don't understand. It needs a fresh start, a future. I know. And I wish there was something I could do about it. But no one can. It's the law. Hi, Shannon. These jailbirds sure get around, don't they? You need a good man, mister? Sorry, right, we're laying men off now, Harlan. Nothing today. Oh, it's a swell night, isn't it? Look, Joaquin, look, a falling star. Make a wish. Getting a little tired of wishing, darling? A little. You know, I was just wondering. Things are a little slow here in Port Harbor. Maybe, maybe if you went on to another town where there's more activity. So, you think they got me on the run, huh? Oh, no. Well, don't you worry. I'll get a job, and right here, too. Now, come on. Tell me good night and send me home. <laughs> oh, darling, I don't like the idea of you bunking on that smelly little boat. After all, this is your home, and Jackie and I... Make it a home, and that's that. You know, I think I'm going to like you when I get to know you better. Good night. Mm -hmm. Aren't you walking, Shannon? Yes. Sorry, it's the rule of the company not to hire men who are on parole. about my getting out of town. Oh, nonsense. Things are picking up. You're bound to get something soon. That's what I thought. But when a job is not forbidden by a guy's parole, he's poison anyway because he's been in prison. Uh, how on earth do they expect a parole man to make a living? <laughs> they don't give you the answer to that one. A wolf at the door with every parole, huh? Well, we'll fool him and eat him. And that's an idea. They say they're very tasty stuff with ripe California technicalities. <laughs> How did I ever fall for a dizzy dame like you? I don't know. How did you? Jackie! Jackie, what on earth? What's the matter? What's hey, fella, what are you even doing? I had a fat oh, well, boy. Did you win? Oh. Yes, he did. And you're not this cold and him. It was in a good car. But a bit of soap and water wouldn't hurt him. No, we'll go do a little repair work. Come on, darling. Well, how do you like that? Game little cuss, ain't he? Pretty well bunged up. Not his body, the fake in Joaquin. The loyal heart of him. What do you mean, father? Well, uh, you know how these young hoodlums are. They're pretty free with their tongues and... Uh, well, Jackie'd have none of it where you were concerned. I see. But not a word to him. You're not supposed to know. I understand. Thank you, Father. That's all right, my boy. The only way 
way, Jane. I've been too dumb to see what all this was doing to Gene and Jackie. But I sure got wise to myself this afternoon, and I'm getting out. Well, I don't know, but maybe it's a good idea. Get away for a while. Get yourself squared round. Things will be mighty different. When you come back, well, you can tell them all where to head in. Try to make Gene see it that way, will you? Don't she want you to go? She don't even know I'm going. It's a little too tough to say goodbye. I'll write to her when I get set. Well, good luck to you, lad. I'm betting on you. Thanks, Jane. Time to look out after things, will you? So long. You remember me? Yeah, how are you, Soapy? When'd you get out? About six months ago. Hey, you don't look like you've been eating very regularly. No, I'm on a kind of a diet. It's good for the indigestion. Yes, well, I don't know diet. I need company. Let you and I sneak up on a couple of T-bones, huh? Okay. Well, I get the old Green Sox team in a championship form. Series stands three to three, and the big game's coming up. What do you suppose happened? My time's up. <laughs> Feel a little better? Like a million, thanks to you. How come you're broke? No, nah, folks don't seem to want to hire for old convicts. You mean to tell me you've been trying to find a job? And how? No wonder you're starving to death. Why don't you get wise to yourself? There's a lot of shortcuts to easy dough. Well, I don't know anything that ain't crooked. I don't fall for that stuff. I don't either. I don't have nothing to do with any racket being on the up and up. You know, I might be the answer to your maiden's prayer. You're a sailor, ain't you? No, I used to be. I skipped my own tuna boat for five years. You mean you can steer them and uh, find places? And... Sure. Uh, like maybe as far away as South America? Oh, I made Ecuador many a time. Ecuador. Is that a lady bullfighter? <laughs> no, that's a port in South America. Brother, you've got a job. You're the skipper of my new boat, the Lottie B. Sure. And me and the Lottie B is going to take you to South America, huh? I think I'm kidding, huh? I just bought it. There she is, all clear and free, waiting for us to go aboard. Well, what do you want with this? It's a fishing boat. Right down your alley, ain't it? Here's a little dough. You go out and buy yourself whatever you'll now, need. Now, wait a minute, Sylvie. I'll give you mixed up with anything phony. You don't think I'd get a pound of jam, do you? Now, look. Here's the setup that's a pushover. Nah, thanks just the same, Sylvie. But I'm afraid this is not the kind of a job I'm looking for. All right. Have it your own way. I think you're making an awful chump out of yourself. Maybe. But I have to play it the way I see it. <laughs> Thanks for the feed in the office, Sophie. Okay. I still think you're 100% chump. Hey. Oh, you don't get the idea, Sophie. I'll get a job pretty soon. I'll be back on my feet again. I won't have anything to worry about. Well, so long. So long. Your name's Walkin Shannon, isn't it? Yeah. You're wanted as a parole violator. Come along. Come on, Jerry. Smart trick. Think I want to let him take.
take me back? Can't figure you. Just talk about jobs and going straight, and all the time you're hiring a firecracker. You nuts? Say, you still want to skip over that boat of yours? Now you're getting smart. Come on, we're leaving for San Pedro right now. Stay down here, Shannon. Keep under cover. You're ready to pull out about midnight. I'll take care of the grub and everything. Statewide search for escaped convict. Captain of the yard dies, second victim of Tuesday's sensational jailbreak. Reward, dead or alive. That screw had it coming to him. Yeah, well, you got a burn coming to you if we don't lamb out of here in a hurry. We got to beat it to the open sea before them harbor cops get snoopy. Yeah, bring this along. We got a little cargo to pick up. Say, are you nuts? You got to pull that job with them cops on your tail the way they oh, are? Quit squawking, will you? We got to have dough, ain't we? Mushy and Mac will have it all set. It'll be a pushover. Hello? Joaquin! What happened? Where on earth are you? I'm at the harbor in San Pedro. The Lottie B. Tied up alongside a pier. Pier 18. I can't get away, but I've got to see you tonight. And hurry. Hurry, I haven't got much time. All right, darling, I'll be right there. But, but what? Somebody might see it. Oh, darling. I've been nearly frantic. The police are looking for you. Well, they'll have to find me first. South America's a long ways off. South America? Yeah. I couldn't go without seeing you. Oh, Jean, it means a fresh start. A chance of happiness. It means I'll be able to send for you soon and... You can't do that walking in. You'd be a fugitive, a criminal. What do you think I've been all these months? A jailbird. An ex-con. Facing a stone wall at every turn. What chance is there for a parole convict? The world has no use for him, no place for him, no job for him. Haven't got a job, they send you back to jail. And there you rot for a few more years, and the whole thing begins all over again. Well, it's a swell merry-go-round, but this is where I'm getting off. 
Oh, no, darling. Jean, don't you see this is our only chance to live again? Oh, then we haven't a chance. What kind of a life would that be? No home, no country, no peace of mind. Only fear, suspicion, lies. You wouldn't be happy doing that. Oh, don't you see, darling, don't you see? No. All I can see is gray walls and iron bars and marching feet. Bitter, hopeless faces. Everything else is just words. Jean. Sophie. What's that guy doing here? Never mind now. We gotta get out of here. Quick. Come on, Sophie. Sophie, you heard that. What happened? You heard what he said, Stir Dude. Cut this tub loose and head out to sea. Come on, I'll put you ashore. Oh, no, you don't. You stay right here, sister. You're going to take a little cruise. I don't know what you've been up to, but I got a good idea. I'm getting her out of here. Not to stay healthy, you don't. She stays right here. One yap out of her and a harbor cop would be right on us. Go on over there and see if you can make yourself useful. Try and do something for Sophie. Now, you and me are going to cut this boat loose. Go up on deck and don't try any funny business. Or I'll let you have just what I gave two other guys. Go on, get out of here. Look after him. Don't get any ideas in your head, sir, dude. I'm going to stick right here for quite a while. like this with a swell-looking day and taking care of me. Hey, lady. Shannon's the right guy. Tell him Soapy didn't mean to put him in a spot. He mustn't talk anymore now. Uh, there's something he must know. Yes. Red. Red is the man. Yes. How's Sophie? His troubles are over. Red? Poor Sophie. Sophie said to tell you he was sorry he got you in a jam. Yeah, I know. Listen, Joaquin. He told me Big Red killed Joe. Big Red? Yes, he not only killed my brother, but he killed a guard breaking out of prison. And he's a guy I've been serving all this time for. What are you doing? I'm going back. That's what he thinks, lady. But he's going to change his mind. Ain't you, Stir Dude? Where well, is you? All right, Red. I guess you win. Now you're talking. Not when I deliver Big Red to them, they can't. I'll get out of this with a clean slate. Red Kincaid. 
And all the time, I thought it was another guy that killed Joe. Who? Well, I thought it was Chris. Oh, you know, this poor guy you are. I'll never get you away from me again. 